Hello guys and welcome to the channel. On today's video, I'll show you how to create preset patch because a lot of the videos I've seen, they go ahead and put the time base effect on the main channel. But on today's video, I'll show you how to create an aux and also incorporate this so that when you load the patch, all the aux will be pulled up without the time base effect being on the main channel. I've created one before the video, which I'll go ahead and pull up. Then I'll show you guys how I do it. Let's get into it. They say it's not too late to change your face. So first thing, if you want to incorporate your boss send is to go ahead and add the effects. The normal way you will be adding effect to your channel, which is EQ, compressors and whatnot. I will not be tweaking them just to save us time. As you've added all this, let's assume this is what you want and then you need a, a send to add your reverbs and delays. So the first one, I'll call it reverb. And let's throw in any reverb here. And on the next one, I'll throw in a delay. So let's assume this is what we've got. Obviously, when you're doing your one, you can go ahead and incorporate any other thing. Because on the other one I loaded, I've also got a few more on the aux and sense. But just to make the video a bit shorter, let's assume this is all you've got. So in order to incorporate this with your save patch you have to go under the mixer and create a track for this select all the sense you've inc included right click create tracks you can see they've not come up here as a track now go ahead and create a summing stack the main channel right click create track stack and leave it on summing stack hit create and name it whatever you would like to name the patch. Let's assume this is ZP tutorial or lesson. Now go ahead and include this into the rack. So as you can see now, I've thrown in the two tracks I created into the same rack as the main channel. Now use the rack for the patch. So if you go under the library, which is this one here, that will bring this library up. Go on the save. Now here you can name it the same thing, which is ZP lesson, or if you want to change it, you can change it. It's on the audio, you say save. So now assuming you've got a different vocal, you want to load the same patch onto, because it's here now, ZP lesson. If we select this for instance, and go on the user patch on the same library, you see the ZP lesson there. Just double clicking on it, that will load the same patch here. So when you open the patch, you can see the same thing, reverb and delay is there now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye now. Mm -hmm. 